there are at least three sure things in life. Death, taxes, and weeds. But hands down, the best way to get rid of weeds is to put your hands down. Literally, hands down on the weeds and pull them out. This is actually pretty easy to do after a heavy rain. However, I realize that this method may not be the most practical. About a year and a half ago, I uploaded a YouTube video on a DIY weed killing formula using regular household vinegar. Now that video got over a million views and it sparked a lot of debate and opinions. You can watch that video if you click over here. But most people's experience and opinions were that regular off the shelf vinegar isn't strong enough to kill weeds down to the root. This video is gonna be an update to that video. But in doing some more research, it does appear that a strong vinegar that has at least 20% or more of acetic acid can kill the weeds down to the roots. And I do plan to test that. But first, I wanted to give regular household vinegar another chance. This section behind me is heavily weeded. I divided it up into three separate sections. The first section, I'm gonna spray the vinegar concoction. The second section, I'm gonna spray Roundup. And the third section, Ortho Weed Be Gone. Let's see which one is the winner. Now what I failed to do in my first vinegar test video was to wait a long enough period of time to see if the vinegar had long term effects. So now it's been 17 days since I sprayed. Let me show you what the three areas look like now. This is the regular store bought off the shelf vinegar containing 5% acidic acid. There does appear to be some weed damage, but let's take a closer look. Keep in mind that there are a wide variety of weeds here and we have had a lot of rain over the past couple of weeks. Some of these weeds are brownish and do appear at least partially dead. Some like these have little flowers on them and they appear to be thriving. Overall, I'd say that the vinegar here was only mildly effective. If I had to give it a grade, it would be a D and there would be no participation trophy. Let's look at the Roundup. Clearly, you can immediately see the difference Let's move in closer. Most of the weeds are brown. Some have a little green, but are in a death spiral. There are a couple of weeds that are still green, which either means that Roundup didn't have an effect on them or they're just new weeds. The grade on Roundup is an A minus. Next up, the Ortho Weed Be Gone. This looks almost like it did before I sprayed. Ortho Weed Be Gone is a horrible weed killer. Some of the weeds do look a little sickly, but I think all of them will recover nicely. This gets a failing grade. Here's another test that I did. Today is Thursday. Last Sunday, I made a concoction of 30% vinegar and I sprayed it in two different areas. Let me show you what that looks like today, four days later. This area here is the regular 5% vinegar. This area next to it, I sprayed the 30% vinegar, salt, and dish soap solution. In four days, it appears to have done a better job at killing weeds than the regular vinegar after two and a half weeks. I also sprayed it in a second area over here. Let me show you what that looks like. In this area, I sprayed the 30% vinegar solution, but you can see that it didn't work very well. A few sad looking weeds, but I can't say that any of them appear to be deceased. When using vinegar, it seems that the results will vary depending on the weeds and the amount you use, or perhaps even other conditions. Overall, I'd say that vinegar is not such a great solution. The best one is obviously Roundup. You know, the funny thing about weed killer is even if the weeds do die, you still have to get down and pull them out by hand or get a weed whacker and chop them off. So you're still doing some work by hand. So you might as well just get down and pull them out to begin with. Avoid the chemicals. Now it's time to address the elephant in the room. While it's clear that Roundup did a fantastic job killing the weeds, the big question on everyone's mind is, does it cause cancer? The World Health Organization warned that the herbicide glyphosate, the main ingredient in weed killer Roundup, probably causes cancer. Late today, a California jury awarded nearly $300 million to a former school groundskeeper who sued Monsanto, claiming its weed killers, including Roundup, gave him non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hundreds of Australians have joined a landmark class action claiming use of the herbicide Roundup caused their cancer. Let me ask you a personal question. So you've been using glyphosate for 40 years? Probably, yeah. You've been one way or the other one exposed way or the other. to it right, yeah. for 40 years. Mm -hmm. 
Are you worried? No. At all? About I've, getting I've, cancer yourself? No, no. I, there, there, I don't know anybody that's even gotten sick from using uh, Roundup or for that matter any other chemical. A judge had just ruled that a herbicide made by agrochemical company Monsanto had been a factor in causing their cancer. Almost $11 billion to pay off around 125,000 lawsuits. The jury agreed that Monsanto knew Roundup was dangerous and could cause cancer, but hid that fact from consumers. A spokesperson says the firm will continue to sell Roundup without issuing a cancer warning over its use. The company that makes Roundup stopped using glyphosates in some of their products in 2023. There are other chemicals in here as well as the Weed Be Gone. Chemicals whose names I can't even begin to pronounce. Any off-the-shelf weed killer is going to have chemicals in it. And you just don't know what harm those are going to cause either you or the environment long term. So. Make the extra effort, just pull the weeds out by hand, if at all possible. I'm Tom, this is Allie Picked, and thanks for watching.